Marijuana is now just one signature away from becoming legal in Minnesota. Early this morning, the Senate signed off on a bill to legalize cannabis for adults 21 and older starting this summer. That means the bill is on its way to Governor Tim Walz's desk to sign. WCCO's Caroline Cummings explains the long road to get here and what's next for the historic change to the state's drug policy. Members, please vote. After 1 a.m. Saturday morning, the Senate had enough yes votes to green light a sweeping measure to legalize marijuana. 34 ayes and 32 noes, the bill is passed. And transform the illicit market into a regulated, licensed state industry. It is time. Minnesotans are ready. Let's legalize, regulate, and expunge. Minnesota has had a medical cannabis program since 2014, but the fortunes for recreational use changed when the Democrats took back control of the Minnesota Senate, clearing a path for passage with DFL tri- legal to have up to two pounds of cannabis flower in your home and grow a few plants, but you can't smoke weed in public and possessing any more or selling it without a state license could mean criminal penalties and big fines. What will take longer, setting up the new state office of cannabis management and new rules and regulations for legal businesses. Eventually, a licensed business could cultivate, manufacture and sell marijuana products, but that will take at least a year. I don't believe that this bill before us today is ready. Ready for the governor's signature, but some Republicans still have reservations. They raise concern about public safety and the gap between legalization and when the regulated legal market is up and running. We'll be moving quickly forward with this legalization before law enforcement has the tools needed to keep our communities safe. The bill's DFL authors acknowledge there may be tweaks to the law along the way because Minnesota joining 22 other states to legalize weed is a big change. But supporters say it's long overdue. The system that we have right now is not working. At the Capitol, Caroline Cummings, WCCO. Lawmakers are sprinting to the finish the next few days. You see the countdown clock there. The session must end by Monday night. Governor Walls has already signed a lot of bills this session. He'll join Esme Murphy in studio tomorrow morning to talk about legislation that will have a lasting impact on Minnesotans' lives, from gun control and legalizing marijuana to rebate checks. It's a session that has Democrats cheering and Republicans warning of consequences at the polls. Tune in to see the governor live on WCCO Sunday morning at 1030.